Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today it's time to do the match pre preview slash predictions video for the Champions League playoff round qualifier Celtic versus Astana. Leg one at Celtic Park, to, not tomorrow night, Wednesday night. The home leg, uh, a very vital game for Celtic season and just a very vital game in general for Celtic. We face Astana again. We took them on last year around earlier in the, the third round qualifiers, but this time it's the, it's the money round. It's the big round, the round for many different reason Celtic need to progress no pun intended there Rangers fans uh, the, the, you know we need to get through this there's a few things to talk about going into the Celtic coming off the back of a 1-0 win against Partick Thistle on Friday night and not the best of performances not a lot going wrong but just not the most convincing of performances but we'll come on to that in a minute as we take a stand on on Wednesday night last year we narrowly beat them 3-2 on aggregate with a late miss of Dembele penalty in the first leg actually getting us the home leg win and as we know when it comes to these Champions League games it's the home leg that really matters and it's a pain in the arse that sadly we've been given the home leg first for me that's always a disadvantage I hate having the home leg first I feel like it's always some form of advantage it's just always better to get the away leg out the way so it lets the team know what they have to do in the home leg and things can maybe be done a bit more comfortably as we saw with Rosenberg, first first leg was at home in the last round, did not go too well. We drew 0 0, wasn't fantastic, wasn't a great performance, and it left things, you know, we were, we were, we were skating on thin ice heading into that away leg, and uh, we narrowly got through. Many different issues came into that. We didn't have an out and out striker for the, for the two legs, basically. Griffiths only played a little bit of it, and when he did come on, he did change the game. But, you know, um, at the same time, uh, we, did, we didn't play too great. And we narrowly got through. This time, we need to make it a bit more convincing and we need to take this home leg and get a big result from it. Last year, in this round, we managed to beat Hapwell by Sheva 5-2, which was a fantastic scoreline. I mean, the two goals we conceded wasn't great, but it gave us a free goal lead heading away from home and I feel like it's something we need that sort of cushion again in this match and it's what Celtic should be aiming to do. This time, Lee Griffiths should be playing. So we, there's no excuses for not getting goals. We just need to be ruthless. We need to take our chances. We can't miss all sorts of sitters here, there, everywhere. We really do need to take our chances. This mob aren't someone we could take lightly. And I always feel kind of guilty coming into these match previews and predictions being a bit too confident. And I certainly was a bit too confident with the Rosenberg game. I really was. I went in and I was like, I think we'll beat them at least 4-0 at Parkhead. I was too confident. This, I'm not as confident. One thing, one attitude I always say, one attitude I always like to have is have faith in Celtic. I always like to have confidence in the team. I'm certainly more confident than most of my other pals when it comes to these games, always. I'm always the most confident one, and I always like to have faith. And I do think we'll get through, I think we'll do it, but it's going to be a tight affair, and I'm not expecting Celtic to go out and brutally tear them apart. It's what I want them to do, and I think it's what we need to do. We need to be as ruthless as we were against Beersheva last year. We were 3-0 up at half-time, for Christ's sake. Um, but we, I want that will we get it it's in a doubt this, this mob will no carry on Astana are the Kazakhstanian champions the, which may sound ridiculous but I mean being the Scottish champions and being the, the Kazakhstanian champions in the year 2017 doesn't have much of a difference we still should be beating them but they are no joke they, they cannot be taken lightly we need to go into this game we have to be strong at the back we have to be strong going forward we'll come on to Astana's home form in a minute and we'll come on to what I think the teams are actually we'll go into uh, not home form we're just going to go into Astana Astana's form, I believe they might be halfway through their season. I don't know what point of the year they start their season. I'm going to quickly check. Kazakhstan Premier Division. They are top of the league, right? We just had to make it sure I didn't want to go out and say they're top of the league and it turns out they're not. They are. 23 games into their season, they're 7 points clear and they are coming off the back of 2 wins. Their most recent match, a 3-0 win. And also they packed Legia Warsaw out in the last round, which is is a, a decent thing to do. Legia Warsaw, once again, no joke of a club. A difficult club to take. It's once again a team of Celtic were to draw. That's a team I'd be heading in and going, unsure of that. I mean, they pumped us only 3 years ago. Legia Warsaw are no joke of a club and they put them out in the last round. We cannot take them lightly. They're heading in with a bit of form behind them. They had a better result on Friday night there than we did. And we'll come on to that Friday night result uh, in a moment. As there's a lot of things I think that need to be spoke about that we need to make sure we don't do this Wednesday night in this match. As this is this this cannot 
we cannot bottle this in any way. I would hate to bottle it. It means so much to the club, football-wise, for the fans, for the money that it gives the club. I mean, a lot of people don't like the fact that money has to do with football now, but the money that we get for the Champions League is fantastic for Celtic. It helps us just to, to get by and, and to get transfers in. It's so important that we get the money. But Astana are on decent form. I wouldn't be surprised if he will come to Celtic Park. They're going to maybe play a different style from what we've seen at Linfield, Rosenberg, who put 10 men behind the ball. Don't know what to expect. They might come to Celtic Park, they might put 10 men behind the ball. Don't know. They might come to Celtic Park, they might go all out attack. They might just start, you know, playing their natural game and take us by surprise. Who knows? They might put a couple of goals by us. I don't think they're going to be as defensive as other teams come to Celtic Park. Uh, but. Saying that, we need to ha hopefully Lee Griffiths is fit to. St we need that starting striker, and that is what really, really made it difficult for us in the last round. James Forrest, not the best of finishers. Scott Sinclair has not started the season off superbly. Johnny Hayes has barely had a shot in the team. Uh, and, and, and anybody else will try Rogic when he played up front, non existent there as well. We need that goal scorer. We need someone who's a clinical finisher because chances get wasted left, right, centre when we don't have one. And the chances we do miss, it could have us 2 3 and a lot very comfortable. And we don't have that without an, all, an, an, an out and out striker. We don't have it without him. Beaton started the game Friday night. The Friday night performance there against Partick Fist wasn't the worst I've ever seen, but once again, it wasn't the best. I thought we were a bit too sloppy. Neil Beaton. He probably will start on Wednesday night. There's no point in trying to say, oh, he might start Ayer, because I think the fact that Baton did start on Friday indicates he's going to start on Wednesday. He's given him that match sharpness, so he is ready to play this Wednesday night. And I don't want one game let me throw off the fact we're playing Neil Baton at the back. Neil Baton I've never been a massive fan of. Not going to lie, never been a massive fan of Neil Baton. But since he's been switched to this kind of centre-back fill-in role, he's not been too bad, apart from Friday night there, where he was quite shaky. There was points where I was thinking, we, we just can't. And I would say again, I don't think we should play near Baton. I would just give Christopher Ayer the chance. I think he's capable. I think he's more capable of near Baton. I feel it'd be the safer bet playing Christopher Ayer. And if things go wrong, then fair enough, they go wrong. He's 19 years old and it is a risk throwing him in, but at least he is probably a more comfortable centre-back than Neil Baton. And that's not me trying to degrade or, or, or fire shots at Neil Baton. It's just I don't know if it's worth the risk playing him at centre-back because I feel like Christopher Ayer, as young as he is, would have a far better game. He's already done fantastic the games he played. For such a young guy, for the games he's played so far, he's put in some great performances. I feel like he's a much safer bet having him at the back. One thing someone asked me to do in the comments was to give my, my start in 11 and I'll get to that. But as long as we have a striker, as long as we have someone at the back who I, I would prefer to see higher, if Baton, as long as Baton, uh, who will play, I think he will play, as long as he doesn't make any stupid mistakes, I can see us hopefully getting a decent enough result to get us through the away leg because it's the away leg that's going to matter the most. It's not an easy journey. Not an easy journey at all. My starting 11, the starting 11 I would give, I'm going to start doing this because people in the comments have asked me to start doing it. I think this is not what I want to see, this is what I think we'll do. I would want to see Ayer start over Baton, but I think Baton's going to start. So I think it's going to be a starting 11 of Gordon, Lustig, um, what's his name, Semenovic, Baton, Tierney. Now I think we're going to get Brown and Cham and McGregor as the middle kind of three. Sinclair out left, Forrest out right, and um, up front Lee Griffiths. I hope if he is fit enough to start, he should be fit enough to start. We gave him... Only a little while in the game on Friday there. Surely he should be fit enough going into this game. And it is of mass importance he's fit enough to go into this game. My actual score prediction for the match, I don't want to be too confident. I don't, because it always comes back to bite me in the arse. And this, as I said, I'm not a mob we can take lightly. Not a mob we can take lightly whatsoever. And I don't think they're going to sit and park the bus. I don't think they're going to be... I don't think we're going to score more than three goals. But at the same time... They're not going to sit 10 men back where it's going to be us struggling to get goals. I think they're going to play their natural game. And I could be completely wrong because I said that about Rosenberg. I said I don't think they'll come and play 10 men behind the ball. And they came and they played basically 10 men behind the ball. And I think it's the smart thing for Astana to do. And I don't blame them if they do come to Celtic Park and play the 10 men behind the ball. But I just don't think they'll do it. I don't see them doing it. I think they'll go for a lot more a positive kind of result. And maybe if they go down 1-0 early... Then I, they might change it and put 10 men, beh men behind the ball and try and reduce the amount of goals they concede. But I don't think they are going to do it unless, as I said, they get an early goal. And I think as a, talking about early goals, I always say it, early goals, we need them. I think that when we score goals, it puts confidence into the team and we need that confidence. I hope McGregor starts. I think McGregor is in top form. I hope he starts over Armstrong until Armstrong gets this kind of contract stuff wrapped up. Uh, but for my actual score prediction, I'm going to go 2-0 Celtic. Maybe not the 
best results to take away. I think we need three goals. We need to go away with a three goal lead. Whether, lead. Whether or not we do is a completely different story. And we'll have to wait and see. But that is my predictions and preview for the match to Wednesday night. Uh, I hope it goes well. And I'll have my match review out on Thursday. My match vlog out on Wednesday. It's going to be nervy. We need this. We need to get through to the group stage. I can't bear the Europa League group stages. And it would be so disappointing to see a team that went invincible last season. To the Europa League when we should be in the Champions League. If we go in the Europa League, I want to see a run. I want to see some form of run. Just being honest. Not maybe final, but like last 16 quarterfinals. We need to get there if we go in the Europa League. But I have the full confidence and faith we will get to the Champions League group stage. Anyway, we'll talk in next week, I suppose, when we're going away to Kazakhstan. Or two weeks, whenever it is. If you've enjoyed, make sure you hit like and subscribe. Much appreciated from me, Ryan 118. I'll see you all next time.